These mixed practice questions are exactly the same as those in the previous skill. The only difference is that they might include slightly more difficult compounds and slightly more difficult equations to balance, but the process is exactly the same. So in this question, a scientist wants to determine how many moles of water, H2O, are needed to make 186 grams of aluminium hydroxide, ALOH3. Okay, so first let's write out our plan. We're starting with 186 grams of aluminium hydroxide. So let's write that down. Grams of ALOH3. We want to find how many moles of water are needed. So we want to end up with moles of H2O. So that's our goal. However, we start with grams of aluminium hydroxide. So first we're going to have to convert that into moles. So that's going to be our first step, moles of aluminium hydroxide. Then once we've got that, we'll be able to convert from moles of aluminium hydroxide to moles of H2O, water, using the conversion factor from the balanced equation. Okay, so there's our plan. Now let's go ahead and start writing out our dimensional analysis table. So we'll write out our question, which is 186 grams of ALOH3. And we'll draw our dimensional analysis table. In this question, I've included two columns in my dimensional analysis table because I have two steps to get from my given to my answer. Okay, so for the first step, we're going from grams of ALOH3 to moles of ALOH3. So I'm going to need to look in my periodic table to find my relative atomic masses of aluminium, oxygen, and hydrogen so that I can use those to find my molar mass of ALOH3. So here's hydrogen, here's oxygen, and here's aluminium in our periodic table. So hydrogen has a relative atomic mass of 1.01, .01, oxygen has a relative atomic mass of 16.00, and aluminium has a relative atomic mass of 26.98. So aluminium is 26.98 grams per mole. Oxygen is 16.00 grams per mole. And hydrogen is 1.01 .01 grams per mole. Okay, now in our compound ALOH3, we have one aluminium, plus we have three sets of oxygen and hydrogen. So that's one set of aluminium, which is 26.98, plus three sets of oxygen, which is 16.00, plus hydrogen, which is 1.01. .01. When I put that into my calculator, that gets me an answer of 78.01 grams per mole. And remember, that molar mass tells us that 78.01 grams of aluminium hydroxide, ALOH3, is equal to one mole of aluminium hydroxide, ALOH3. So that is going to be our conversion factor that we're going to use in the first step of our dimensional analysis table. So we start with grams of ALOH3, so we want to put that on the bottom so that that will cancel out we want to end up with moles of ALOH3. So we're going to put that on the top. Then we need to put in our numbers for our conversion factor so that the top and bottom of our fraction are equal. We know that one mole of ALOH3 equals 78.01 grams of ALOH3. So our first step is going to be to balance that chemical equation. So let's go ahead and write out our table which we can use to um, help balance our equation. We've got elements, reactants, and products. And we've got aluminium, 
oxygen and hydrogen. So let's start by counting up our reactants and products for each element. So aluminium has two atoms in the reactants because Al2O3. Oxygen has three from Al2O3 and one from H2O. So oxygen has four in total in the reactants. Hydrogen has two in the reactants from the H2O. In the products, we've got one aluminium, AlOH3. Then we've got the OH with a three after it. So we've got three oxygens and three hydrogens. So we can see here that nothing is balanced to start with. I'm going to start by multiplying the products, AlOH3, by two, so that my number of aluminiums on the products will equal my number of aluminiums on the reactants and see where we go from there. So I'm going to recalculate now that I've made that educated guess. So in our reactants, we have the same. We've got two aluminium, three oxygens plus one, which is four oxygens and two hydrogens in our reactants. In our products, we now have two aluminiums and we have two sets of OH3. So we've got two times three, which is six oxygens and six hydrogens. Okay. So our aluminium is now balanced in the reactants and products, but we need more oxygen and more hydrogen on our reactants. Specifically, we need two more oxygens and four more hydrogens. So on the left, I'm going to make an educated guess that if I, instead of having one, if I had three H2O, that adds two more sets of H2O, which means adding two more oxygens and four more hydrogens, which should help to balance out my equation. So let's go ahead and do our calculations one more time just to check if this is finished. So on the left we've got two aluminiums, we've got three oxygens from the Al2O3 plus we've got three from the H2Os because we've got three sets of H2O now. So that's six oxygens on the left. Then we have three sets of two hydrogens from the H2O, so that's three times two which is six hydrogens. In the products we've got two sets of aluminium hydroxide, so that's two aluminiums plus two sets of three oxygens and two sets of three hydrogens. Two times three is six, so that's six oxygens and six hydrogens. Wonderful, so we're now balanced for aluminium, oxygen, and hydrogen. So we can go ahead and fill in those numbers in our boxes here. Awesome, okay. So now we can use our balanced equation to find our conversion factor. Now we're going from aluminium hydroxide to water. So here's the water in the equation, here's the aluminium hydroxide. So we've got three H2Os gives two AlOH3. So we can use that to write our conversion factor, which says that three moles of H2O gives two moles of AlOH3. So there's our conversion factor that we're now going to use in our last step of our dimensional analysis. So we've got moles of AlOH3 on the top. We want that to cancel out, so we're going to put that on the bottom down here. Then we want to end up with moles of water H2O. So that's going on the top. Then we can put in our numbers. So we know that three moles of H2O gives two moles of AlOH3. Okay, so our dimensional analysis table is now complete. We're ready to go ahead and do our calculations. So we're gonna cancel any units at the same top and bottom. So we're canceling grams of aluminum hydroxide, we're canceling moles of aluminum hydroxide, and we're left with moles of H2O, which is great because that's what the question asked for. So that gives us 186 multiplied by one, multiplied by three moles of H2O divided by divided by 78.01 multiplied by two. If I put that in my calculator, that gets an answer of 3.58 moles of H2O. Okay, so you can see lots of steps in these questions, lots of different things to do, but it's exactly the same as what you've done before. So always start by writing out your plan of how you're gonna get from the given 
to the goal with the steps. Then draw out your dimensional analysis table and start going step by step. As you go, you may need to find the molar mass of a compound in order to convert from grams to moles or vice versa of that compound. Then you will need to balance the equation to use that to find the conversion factor between moles of one substance and moles of another substance.